imagine living in this. Sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. Why do we have to wait? I've seen this four times. What happened to Ursa has nothing to do with us. If I don't get my goods to fire soon, they'll cancel the contract. and everyone will get in. What's going on here? 
Wallen's in there, somewhere. And so is Aaron, that other Outlander I talked to the night before the Proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. If this keeps up, I'll be broken a month. Always it's stay always right. the merchant. Always stay alert. Like City's locked down. I'm not getting out of the river, Ander. Hold! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy, hey, you're alive. I thought you were dead. Make way, make way. All the way to Meridian just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around. In them. I, uh, I lost someone too. At the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house, here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess, as long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. Yeah, they're fighting the shoots. I'm pacing around here. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. Is she Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. That must be the spire. It's huge. Check out these layers. How long will a god hide in his palace? Blood for blood. Vengeance 
for Ursa. How long will Abad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. Yep. Other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. The corner of this rug is frayed, and the floor near it is worn. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it. Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. I don't think you're getting through that hatch. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside with the crowd. I don't want to talk about that. We're here because of what you said about Olin, so do what you need to do. Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. You said Olin has connections in the royal court. Does he know the Sun King personally? No. He served the court as a scout sometimes, and sold ancient trinkets to nobles, but he never had an audience with the king. If you're right, and Olin's into something dark, Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. I'll look around. That's what we came for. Just what I need. Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? to obey or they'd kill his family. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. 
Olin knew I was targeted. The map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me in the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but... Somehow, Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances. And see through each other's focuses, too. Like, looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. Before. Is that some kind of spice? A merchant over an Oscar. Did you like the buys? All right. What did you want to discuss? You're an Outlander, which is good, but a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels? emblazoned with symbols of the Old Ones. They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. So you're interested in the Old Ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun, if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. 
each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous! Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Ah, you're everything I'm not. Strong, brave, active. Come, talk a spell. Just a moment of your time, please. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it.
You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see. Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in grey, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. The thief broke the lattice on the way out. And some blood. Looks like they drops of blood leading away. Still on the trail. I prefer the one about the sun priest falling Still no blood. The thief got cut pretty bad. The trail ends Check here. Out these but someone must have seen the thief. Don't pass up these goods. I've got all the best goods sure here. the sun's rising here in Nora. Don't pass up these goods. Well, man. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Fine goods for a fair price. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. Of scrap the but where? The Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. Machine. Oh. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay, I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Come, take a look. Check out these wares. Take a look at these wares. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgun. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant a, a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh... I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banuk are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, half up front. I've had no word back. 
so now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk Bear live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right. More of an opportunist. Uh, girl. Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress, we live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right, I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. <laughs>